All right, check this stuff out. So, Echelon Sports have sent me a pair of Afedo Mariposa tire invaders, which are pretty cool. So I've got the 55s here, if you see on the on the screen there, 80 grams per insert, 55 millimeters wide. So edge to edge, 55 mil, 10 millimeters thick, and it's quite dense as well. They're really cool. It's got obviously holes all over it in the form of uh, writing. So some numbers, it's label, tire invader, Feto Mariposa. Um, pretty cool. Definitely ease of installation is a highlight there. They say to use zip ties to connect it. So you cut it to size and then you connect it with zip ties, but get out of here with that. You don't put zip ties inside your tire because on uh, heavy impacts, the zip tie may may well be the, uh, the sharp edge that cuts your tire. So shoelaces are my recommendation for doing this and anything, you know, with tire inserts and whatnot, where it says to use a zip tie, just use a shoelace. So, so much better. Tire knot in it, it's gonna do the job. It's not gonna tear, uh, that's the way to go. KOM Cycling hooked me up with a couple of sealant injectors. These things are pretty cool. So it comes with a couple of little tools here. So valve remover and uh, not entirely sure what that end is for. I'm assuming a bigger valve core remover. Tap, which I probably won't use because the inside of the tap is quite, quite narrow and I reckon that'll build up with with sealant, uh, with the the bits and pieces that you have inside your sealant to, to seal up those chunks and another hose. So pretty cool, like an extender hose. <coughs> Excuse me. Into these, these are pretty cool. I like that. There's a look at the injector. So measurements alongside. So good for your sealant, obviously, getting an accurate amount in there. And also... I reckon these are pretty good for doing your fork lowers as well, putting the uh, putting the fluid back into your fork lowers. So you'd obviously just have to notch out where 10 mil is, get a smaller syringe or a, or a medicine cup, pour 10 mil into there, work out exactly where it is, put a strike on there, and then colour that in with black texture so you know where your 10 mil mark is as well. And uh, Bob's your uncle. That's pretty cool. So multi-purpose there. Again, not too sure whether this line is going to be too thin and the particles inside the sealant are going to block it up or get blocked up on the way through. Running the Joe sealant. I've had a couple of three-corner jacks lately. Pull them out. Seals up, no worries. Both those tyres have had three-corner jacks in them. They're holding no worries. Uh, not losing any pressure, not bubbling. No, no issues. So, you know, sealant's generally pretty good these days, most of the stuff, for, especially for holes that small. And shout out to Cycle Sports for hooking me up with these V Tire Co. Flow tires. So Flow R2 for the rear and a Flow Snap for the front. Let's have a look at them. Let's see the Flow R2, 1,045 grams, so just over a kilo. A little bit heavier than your Exos. Uh, but also these tire, these sidewalls are definitely thicker and more robust than the Exo. I don't know whether it feels more plasticky, more solid, like a little bit less supple in the in the casing itself. That's what it, kind of my first impressions, but we'll see once they're on the bike. This is the front. So the Flow Snap, their preferred front tire. So pretty cool, pretty aggressive side knobs. Uh, pretty cool tread pattern. Uh, see how that goes. Uh, compounds, uh, 48 on the side, so give or take two in there. Uh, that's how they've spec'd it plus or minus two so around the 48 could be 46 could be 49 could be 50 you're hoping closer to 46 for those side knobs and the tops around 52 same same story give or take two so identical for the uh, front and the rear the flow r2 is 48 and 52 as well let's put them up next to each other have a look so that's the two different tread patterns. Front on the left, rear on the right. Pretty cool. Uh, not too much to say about them yet, other than the 
Sidewalls are quite robust. Uh, 2.35, they measure up pretty big. They seem seem uh, closer to a Maxi 2.5 or at least a 2.4. So they're going on the patrol. DHF's coming off, aggressor's coming off. Just did a review of the aggressor, it was pretty cool. Let's chuck all this gear on. So I've got a bit of work to do here. It's, it's uh, gonna be fun. I'm gonna chuck the Super Deluxe back on. Uh, a little bit of a fiddle with that. Uh, I've been back and forth with the two shocks. Definitely prefer the Super Deluxe, but I prefer the, the bottom out resistance of the DPX too. So uh, kind of in between. So until I get that Meg Neg, I'm not gonna be super happy with it, I, I assume. But anyway, let's kick on, put all this stuff on and, and see how we go.